Hello. Welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. Going to be a little bit of a different talk today. Um, we have six pens here, six pens from China. Yeah, I've been focusing a lot on uh, the DC Pen Show, but um, I'm going to get back into my other comfort zone. But before we go over a little bit of why these six pens are there, I have a decision that I've pretty much made, but um, I wanted to get some feedback from my viewers. I'm going to go commercial with my YouTube channel, which means two things, basically. And number one, uh, you'll probably see ads in the beginning of my videos, which you can obviously skip through. And the second thing is, is I'll have a source of revenue to help support uh, my acquiring of pens and making videos. So hopefully that's okay uh, with uh, you, my viewers. A lot of uh, the other pen reviewers have gone commercial or they ask for donations and I'm not one to ask for donations, uh, but you know, since YouTube is offering me a, a decent revenue stream from these videos, I think it would be remiss of me not to take advantage of it. And hopefully that will allow me to provide more content to the videos. So let me know in the comments. Uh, send me an email if, if you want or send me a message. Uh, you know, it depends upon what you're comfortable with. Um, you can also... You know, message me on Instagram. I'm on there occasionally, and I can respond right away. You know, so there's different ways of contacting me. It's all ChrisRap52, and that's also at gmail.com if you want to. So give it a shout. Let me know, and probably within a week or two, you'll probably start seeing commercials. So let's dive into these pens. These first two here are Jinhao 51As, and I have them because a viewer recommended I take a look at them. Uh, the price is definitely very low. And let's see, you know, when I do my review of these, let's see if it's worth purchasing one for that money. Obviously, it is a pen very similar to the Parker 51, which a lot of pens are in China. And there's uh, a long story about how Parker wanted to make pens in China in the 70s, never quite worked out, so they left all the tooling and design and all of that intellectual property there, and um, understandably, uh, people took advantage of it and made some pens. Here's a kind of interesting piston filler. Maybe this is an upgrade to the 3008. It's not branded. It's a 360A, so... But, you know, I just love the way the piston fillers have evolved in China. And I, I am in the process of putting together a video showing the different piston fillers and the challenges is there's a lot of them. So it's a long video. I'm trying to make it as concise as possible. And, of course, then nothing would be complete without some new pen BBS pens. And these are primarily there because I just love the acrylics and I just find them to be amazing for you know the price of the pens and we all know the quality of the pen and we know how they write so this um, one is called Frost Fire which I think is an appropriate name and it says 63 you know that's the model 308 you know there's 308s 309s 323s, 267s, um, 349s, which don't seem to be around much anymore. I thought that was an upgrade, and I thought the 308 was disappearing, but apparently not. And here's a, another beautiful acrylic. This was a gift by way of a fellow pen reviewer and my favorite um, eBay seller, so I really appreciate that. And that is appropriately called kryptonite it's a 64 and then last but not least is uh, this beauty this is an acrylic that I really don't have many pens that have this type of acrylic but I could say that a lot about 
the pen BBS pens that I have, they are unique in their acrylics. And they certainly do an excellent job machining them, putting them together. And this to me is a timeless design. So this 308 design pen could be around for many, many years. And this also has an appropriate name, Sea of Ice. And it's a 66. So those are the pens. Um, we may dive down deeper into uh, some of these, or we may just appreciate the beauty of the pen as, as shown here. So let me know what you think about my channel going commercial. Sorry, YouTube's telling me that it's it's four figures uh, could be my annual income, so it's hard to say no to that. So we reached the end of this. Thank you for watching and sticking with me and and sharing my journey, uh, enjoying hopefully my journey through the world of fountain pens. So until next time, this is the end for now. May you have many great, exciting unbelievable pen experiences and may they enrich and bring joy to both you and and those around you and may they help every day be a little bit brighter and happier until next time bye